you I should avoid my people. Um, so if you like, you vest, if you like, you talk. What do you want to talk? You talk. Now you stop this. You talk like an illiterate. You, you talk level. like a foolish person. Yes, no, you talk. This Fina, Brian, Amaka, and Khalid's heavy altercation this morning, guys. It caused an uproar on social media, especially on Twitter. And I saw a lot of people's line of argument, and I felt really sad. I felt really sad because I just felt like people, just because they have a faith that they're supporting, they tend to just turn a blind eye on their faith's excesses, which I feel is a problem. And I'm not really surprised because this happens every season of Big Brother Niger, not just Big Brother Niger, but for every kind of reality TV show, once people set their mind on liking one person, even though the person slaps someone on the show, or the person gets either verbally or physically violent, they just accept it as, oh, the person is being real. I mean, people have completely, I don't know, they've completely destroyed the true definition of realness. And guys, it's really appalling. So what I'm going to do on this video is, in my own opinion, from my own perspective, I'm going to share what I think about that heated argument that happened earlier today. Um, this is a disclaimer, guys. None of these housemates are specifically my personal fave. I do not really have a fave this season. I like all the housemates. I love the vibe that they give. I love the energy that they bring to the show. I'm richly entertained by all of their drama and everything they give. Yes. So what I'm going to be saying on this video, it's basically how I would analyze a situation like that on a normal day. I have actually put myself in that situation. I've put myself in Brian's shoes. I've put myself in Fina's shoes, in Amaka's shoes, in Khalid's shoes, and everything I'm gonna say on this video, yeah, it's exactly what I would have done if I were in their shoes, all right? So just watch to the end of this video, and I know that you all, you all, you have your own perspective to share. Please just go ahead, feel free, share with us in the comment section below, and um, we'll be cool, all right? Um, so before I get into this conversation proper, let me officially welcome all of you back to my YouTube channel. You're welcome back. My name is Gloria Elijah. This is Frankly Speaking with Glory, and I am the girl with the tea. And the tea is all about this morning's heated argument, altercation, you know, in the level two or amongst the level two housemates. Um, if you are new on this channel, if this is the first time coming across my video, coming across my content, coming across my channel, thank you so much for clicking to watch. Thank you so much for stopping by, but please do not leave without joining the family. It's quite easy. Simply do exactly what you see on your screen so that you will be able to receive a lot of my daily daily uploads okay if you are looking for that space where you can get the most detailed factual accurate analysis of reality tv shows movies and trending social topics this is your own base all right look no further this is where you should be now all of that out of the way let's start this conversation properly this is how the old altercation started um after their workout session the level two housemates they had gathered in their lounge to go over their itinerary for the day yeah in order to prepare for their friday weekly wager task now um everybody had gathered yes fina was still tying a towel around her chest amaka was still tying a towel as well some of the housemates i can't really tell if they've showered or not but the rest of them were actually fully dressed um so brian was taking the lead he had the paper and he was about to read and you know just dish out biggie's brief to the rest of the housemates and so he had asked fina which role she would take in the task that they had been given. And I heard commentator. And then after saying what she said, she stood up and was about to leave. Now, I don't know if Brian heard what she said or not, but Brian asked again, this time around, in a not so pleasant tone. I don't know if Brian heard what she had said she wanted to do. And so he went ahead and asked the question again, this time around, in a not so pleasant way. He went ahead and said, bro, what do you want to do? Yeah? And that was when Amaka said, leave her alone, she's not in a good mood. And I'll explain to you guys why Fina is not in a good mood, all right? And that was when <laughs> Brian blotted out, bro, this is stupid as fuck. Yeah? That was what he said. And that really triggered Fina as immediately she came out of the restroom that she was already going into to brush and to shower and then she re reciprocated the insult that oh no you are the one that's actually stupid and that was how they started going at each other and Fina was really upset that how is my saying that oh 
I'm not doing anything today. How is it triggering you like this? You know? What kind of nonsense is that? What kind of stupid ass energy is that? Man, let's continue. Like, that out? Okay, if she was not here, wouldn't everything go on? They went at each other. It was a heated argument. Back to back insults flying here and there. Now, I saw online a lot of people dragging Amaka, calling Amaka an instigator. And I'm wondering how. I mean, I know for a fact that Amaka is a legit instigator in that house, right? But in this situation, I'm wondering how again was Amaka an instigator? I mean, is it that people did not really see exactly what happened and then they just went with the narrative that they saw online, which is actually very, very annoying to be very honest. Now, whilst the insults were flying here and there, what Amaka was basically doing was she was trying to put an end to it. Please don't say that shit to me. Don't say that shit to me again. What kind of now let's all remember that um fina and amaka they were best friends they had a fallout and then they settled their differences and now they are back to being best friends and now what both of them are basically doing in that house is in as much as they have their own gossip sessions their own chatty chatty sessions they also try to check each other's tempers especially since on sunday after they saw how big brother had warned um, what's her name, Ilebaye, and also issued a strike to um, Beauty. They are both constantly trying to help each other not to fall into that trap of, um, you know, getting into issues with Big Brother or the rules or breaking the rules of the house. So Amaka's role in that entire altercation was she was trying to pacify Brian. And most of the things that she was saying was that, Brian, it is not every fight that you should be carrying up on your head like that. Sometimes you just have to walk away. If she said that she wasn't doing anything, because we do not have time, you could have just easily issued that role or just given the task to someone else. Fina would definitely come to. She would definitely come back to take a role. After, after all, she's in Biggie's house. She cannot shy away from doing what she's supposed to do in Biggie's house. You know? And everything Amaka was saying was right. It was sense. It made a lot of sense 100%. Replaying all that Amaka was saying, guys, all through that altercation, I keep asking the same question. How exactly was Amaka an instigator right there and then? Now, whilst Amaka was busy trying to pacify the entire situation, the other housemates that were present, um, Ile Baye especially, um, what's her name now, Daniela, um, Khalid, um, yeah, Khalid, those three people, they were really hyrated. I mean, they had carried the matter on their head. Those three people I mentioned especially, they were literally pointing at Fina's direction and they were heavily saying a lot of things. I could not really hear what they were saying, especially Daniela. I mean, Daniela was getting so angry, so hyrated, and blah, 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 blah. They were saying a lot of things at the same time. And Brian was saying a lot of things. And guys, that was how the whole argument continued on and on. Now, Khalid had decided to act like the bigger person. And so he had gone into the bathroom area to talk to the two ladies, that's Fina and Amaka. <laughs> She knows that she's the commentator. Just let her be. By the time she showers, come out. Now, small, small, they used to follow woman. Let her be. And Amaka was trying to explain to her that, listen, the reason um, Fina is grumpy this morning is because, number one, she slept very late. And guys, I can attest to that as a fact. Fina and Amaka, they did not sleep. Guys, <laughs> they didn't sleep until this morning. That's just a fact. They didn't sleep until this morning. Why? They were rehearsing the song for their task. And what task are we talking about? The weekly wager task that's going to happen as a presentation on Friday. Fina, guys, all through yesterday had carried this task as though it was her own competition. And she had been bringing a lot of ideas. I think they even created a, a cheerleading squad. She had been in charge, teaching the girls the song, teaching them the dance moves. She had... I think she was even supposed to be the referee, Abby, is it the commentator? Yeah, I mean, she had been doing a whole lot. And there was also at some point that she cooked. She cooked, and some of the housemates, they also ate inside that food. Now, while all of these things are happening, some of these housemates, they were lounging. And guys, I'm sorry, but I'm going to throw some shade. Whilst Fina and Amaka were busy going over and over and over and over the task song again last night, even in the early hours of this morning, that was about the same time that our brother and sister, and brother Khalid and sister Daniela were fondling with each other beneath the sheets. Yeah. Yeah. And at the same time again, that our brother, Groovy, and our sister, um, Beauty, were also settling their marital disputes in bed. And also at some point, kissing and making up beneath the sheets. So while some of these housemates were sleeping and lounging, 
Fina and Amaka, they were up. They were awake. For them, they needed to put in their best and their best so that they do not lose this week's task. So it was quite natural that Fina would wake up feeling very weak and exhausted and probably sick. I don't know, guys, but I'm just saying all what I saw. So all these things I just explained was what Amaka was trying to explain to Khalid. But then Khalid already came with his own bias in mind. He already came with his, with his own bias. So at that point, whatever Amaka was trying to explain, he was not accepting it. Instead, he was nitpicking what Amaka was saying and nitpicking the fact that she was gyrating as she was speaking. And that was when he decided he didn't want to talk to Amaka anymore. And then he was now claiming that Amaka was creating a problem from the situation. That Amaka was trying to create a stereotype by saying, oh, leave women to do like this. And Amaka was like, no, I did not give any name to whatever you're talking about. You gave it a name. And Kelly got upset and he was walking away. And that was when he threw that insult at Amaka that you always sound like, a, what do you call it, an illiterate. You always talk like an illiterate. And I'm glad that Amaka reciprocates the energy, that you are the illiterate. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please tell me, how was Amaka an instigator in this scenario? How? How exactly? How? This is not me trying to take up the role of the all-seer and the all-knower, no. But this is what I would do if I were to be called upon to judge this matter fairly and squarely. Now, let's start with Fina. Number one, yes, Fina has given it her all. I mean, since on Monday, we, we, I mean, everybody that's been watching the show back to back would have, will attest to the fact that Fina has carried this entire task on her head. She and Saif, they've been working together, planning, creating, strategizing. Now, while some of the housemates are lounging and waiting for all the bread and butter to fall on their laps, they have been participating, no doubt, but there were some others that were literally the idea bringers. Yeah, while some others will sit down and dissect the idea and break the idea and guys, it's been a lot, but Fina has been pulling her weight and this is not me backing her up now, nah, now, nah. it's what is the obvious since on Monday. Now, was she right just saying that, oh, she wants to be the commentator and then walking away? Well, I don't think she's 100% wrong because, uh, what's his name now, Brian asked her a question and she answered, she said, commentator and then she stood up and was leaving now what exactly did she do wrong people said oh she came with a bad attitude she displayed a bad attitude. I'm, I'm wondering like how is it that people did not hear her say commentator yeah how now let's talk about brian what did brian do wrong is insult i mean for me that was, that just went from zero to 100 it went from 0 to 100. She answered the first time. Obviously, you did not hear. It's not of you to accept that, oh, you did not hear. And then you asked the second time. And she said, I don't want to do anything today. And then you picked on the second response that she gave as your ultimate um, response that you got from her. And you said, oh, this is stupid as fuck. You're calling her stupid. Why exactly? Why? And guys, let me remind you all that, <laughs> listen, Brian has been very rude. Very, very rude. Especially to the ladies in the house. And I don't know why, because I always think that, oh, you're a guy, Abby, you have much, you have power. Why don't you dish out that same kind of energy to the guys in the house so that you go collect in your own language? Why? But when it comes to the ladies, Brian is rude. He's very, very insulting. Very. He's rude. He does not have respect. And that was why I was also upset with Brian um, during the Beauty and the Lebayes fight. People were saying that, oh, Brian was speaking for the masses. Brian was trying to defend what was right and not. I said, listen, whatever Brian did at that point in time, it was right. He had good intentions. But opening his mouth and shouting back at Beauty, fight with no consign and more like, the matter was not even his business at all, yeah? Then shouting back at Beauty and saying that, oh, if it was outside, I forgive you slap. That's violent. So for me, I feel like Brian has this very, for a young guy of 22, I feel like Brian has this very, very dark side that he needs to learn how to control. Otherwise, it's going to get him into trouble before the end of day 72. He's trying to defend himself that, oh, why can't I be irrational? You think you're the only one that is irrational. That has always been Brian's line of argument to defend his stupidity and his excesses in Biggie's house. And for me, I don't find it funny anymore. Um, let's go. Okay, if she was not here, would everything go on? Please, uh, but we are part of a collective. Stop, don't, don't be saying stupid shit like that. Please. You cannot be acting rude and insulting to your fellow housemates, and then at, at every point in time, 
you will use that line of oh why do I, why do i always have to be the bigger person as your own line of defense who are you trying to fool you think us of you as we don't have eyes we're not seeing really moving on to <laughs> Our sister Daniela and Ilebae. I'm sorry to say, but while those people were receiving hugs and smooches and knocking and smashing and whatever in the room, these other two ladies were busy pulling their weight. So what were they yapping about? Why were they? Blah, 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 blah. What? I don't understand. What were they yapping about exactly? I mean, I, just, I was just like, you know what? People just sh shift. Finally, Khalid. Really? I mean, I've always seen Khalid as that one person that's very, very reasonable amongst the level two housemates you know he's slow to speak he does not speak when he's not spoken to he's always quiet you know kind of sticks to his own opinion you know but in this regard i just felt like brah you disgrace yourself big time you you're calling someone an illiterate you said the person sounds like an illiterate but you did not fully exercise your i don't know how to call it is it your academic knowledge or your life skills of listening guys i don't even know how to i was just really disappointed i was really disappointed because it was actually supporting brian and i'm thinking khalid you of all people will not sit back and watch someone tell you this is stupid as fuck like insulting you that you're stupid you will not accept it so what exactly was his reason for supporting brian i mean brian obviously insulted fina first there would have been other diplomatic ways and other mature ways and other reasonable ways to have approached Fina's matter. I mean, if Brian had, you know, delegated the task responsibility to other housemates, you know, and then allowed Fina to at least shower and then come back, or possibly gone ahead to have a conversation with her and say, oh, earlier you, you mentioned commentator, okay, so here is your role, what are you gonna be doing for us? You know, overlook the dramatic part of it and just get the task done. My regard for him would have increased. But in this case, no way. In as much as I've always seen Brian as a very, very smart housemate, very, very strategic, very, very alert, in this part, in this situation, he failed me woefully. He failed me. So this is where I'm going to end this particular episode of Frankly Speaking with Gloria Elijah, guys. I've tried my best to vent reasonably <laughs> and not to overvent and not to overreact, but I would love to know what you all think about that issue all right so please just go ahead and let me know in the comment section below and i'll do well to respond to all of you as i see you all on another episode of frankly speaking with glory elijah enjoy the rest of your evening bye